Hello folks, I am the Bitter Clinger and this video is all about avoiding self-propelled guns in World of Tanks. And I'll be going over several do's and don'ts throughout this video. What is a self-propelled gun in World of Tanks? Well, it's when you're sitting in your KV-2, you have the enemy in your sights and you're just waiting for the aiming circle to close in around him like a noose. And then BLAM! Your tank explodes for no apparent reason whatsoever. That's artillery in World of Tanks, otherwise known as a self-propelled gun. And that's why a lot of people get frustrated when stuff like this happens. Now, if you play World of Tanks, you're going to be killed by artillery at some point. But this video should help you make it a lot more difficult for artillery to nail down your position and score a hit on you. Even if you are new to World of Tanks, there is something you can do each and every battle that will eventually make you better at avoiding artillery. You can look at the minimap to see where your own artillery drivers are parking themselves. So the next time you play a map from the opposite starting location, you'll know about where the enemy artillery is going to be. And that will help you decide where to take cover. The first way to avoid artillery is hard cover, like big rocks and buildings. Uh, just put one of those between you and the direction of the enemy artillery whenever possible. Unfortunately, you can't spend the whole battle hiding behind buildings. Uh, if you're caught in the open when Artie starts firing at you, one thing you can do is look for nearby dead tanks to hide behind. Uh, it's not perfect cover and you can still be hit by artillery fire, but the turrets on those dead tanks have a funny way of catching artillery shells. It may not be the best cover, but it's better than nothing. Another way to avoid artillery fire is to keep moving, zigzagging, starting and stopping. Basically make the artillery player move his mouse cursor if he wants to hit you. Patch 9.6 for World of Tanks introduced a global accuracy nerf for shots fired that are not fully aimed. Knowing this helps you because artillery cannot fully aim while their gun is moving. So a good strategy is to keep your tank moving at all times, stopping only long enough to aim and shoot. Moving in predictable patterns is not very useful. A good artillery player will simply pick a spot in front or behind you, allow the gun to come to a rest and fully aim, then wait for you to move into the shot. So. Try to mix it up a bit, uh, don't be so predictable. Now while you're zigzagging around and moving erratically, you also got to try not to crash into your teammates or get jammed together in one location. Even if one of the tanks is just wreckage, artillery drivers know you'll get stuck against it uh, if you're moving in that direction. The truth is artillery will land a shot on you from time to time, but you need to think of it as damage reduction rather than damage avoidance. Uh, if Artie fires two shots at you and you're zigzagging from cover to cover, there's a good chance one or even both may miss, or you may take splash damage instead of a direct hit. All of those are preferable when compared with two direct hits on your vehicle. Speaking of damage reduction, if you're driving a heavy tank or heavily armored tank destroyer, or even a slow moving heavily armored medium tank, uh, you may want to consider equipping a heavy spall liner. A heavy spall liner provides 30% damage reduction against explosions, or 50% damage reduction in the case of a super heavy spall liner. And explosions are exactly what you get from artillery shells. Most artillery will be firing high explosive ammunition that has low penetration and high damage values. Now, there are a lot of places where you can get a full technical explanation of high explosive ammunition, but in terms of gameplay, you could say that HE ammo spends damage to penetrate armor. The more armor it has to penetrate, the more damage it has to spend to get through the armor. So if your tank has good armor and you're stuck in a vulnerable position, turn your best armor towards the direction of the enemy artillery. It'll give you a chance to take reduced damage instead of the full load, which usually results in instant death at higher tiers. Another great way to avoid being hit by artillery is to simply not be seen. Now, 
Just because you haven't been spotted doesn't mean you can't be seen. Now look at this video. I'm seeing a bunch of fencing being destroyed here and then I see a tree get knocked down. I figure it must be an enemy artillery or tank destroyer and decide to take a blind shot and it pays off. Enemy armor is destroyed. So be careful about knocking down trees and other scenery objects. Remember, Artie could be watching and waiting. Now, if you're camping in one of the common map locations for campers and you get spotted, you have to move your tank. Look, these guys get spotted and then disappear again, but they don't change locations. <laughs> and, and they both pay the price. When me and the other Artie on my team have the same idea, always reposition when you're spotted. You can always move back to your favorite spot after some time has passed. Finally, the absolute best way to avoid getting killed by artillery is to charge in there and kill them before they kill you. Yeah, that's right, we're gonna crash this little arty party. Oh yeah, yeah that clip brings a smile to my face every time I watch it. So I'm going to end this video on a happy note. Uh, if you find this video to be useful and you want to see more content like this on this channel, please click the thumbs up or let me know in the comments. In the meantime, keep your head down and keep them guessing. Uh, this is Bitter Clinger, signing out.